airlines are making luxury perks including frequent flyer miles and exclusive airport lounges harder to access. As global demand for air travel rises post-pandemic, experts are predicting the trend will increase and be in high demand. Stephanie Obogu is a proud frequent flyer, now frequently frustrated by the airlines. They wanted us to take advantage of travel and then we finally do and it's like, oh, wait, 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 now it's too much. Stephanie is just one of Delta Airlines loyalists fuming over new rules. Next year, the company is making it harder to get into its more than 50 Sky Club lounges at airports worldwide. Delta cites customers upset over lines outside and crowded seating inside, telling frequent flyers, we have made the difficult decision to implement new policies that we believe will preserve the experience our guests deserve. I think this is the start of a trend. Scott Keyes of Scott's Cheap Flights says airlines are cutting back on perks now that travel numbers are back near pre-pandemic levels. United Airlines is anticipating end-of-year holiday travel even bigger than this past Thanksgiving. Next year, it will raise the bar on earning frequent flyer status, making it harder to get free upgrades and fees waived. It's going to be much more difficult to get into lounges, much more difficult to renew elite status, and much more difficult to redeem their frequent flyer miles for a free trip. A Delta flight from LAX to JFK over spring break would typically cost you 25,000 frequent flyer miles for an economy seat. Now, Scott's Cheap Flights says it will cost more than twice that, 52,000 miles. I think, you know, we're at a tipping point. Consumer advocates say earning miles has never been easier thanks to airline credit cards, but now redeeming miles is getting tougher. You enter these programs in good faith and you invest in them for years and years, and you find that the goalposts are a lot further away than they were when you started. Airlines are they're missing the mark here. I hope that they listen to the consumer and they really think about some of the decisions that they're making at the top level.